guys, this is Ben with Soaz Massage and Body Work. Um, I hope you are all hanging in there during quarantine. Miss you guys, looking forward to seeing you again, hopefully soon. Um, so today I wanna to go over three exercises you can do for lower back pain or just to build a super functional core during this time. So the best time to do these exercises is right after getting body work because of the adhesions are released and the muscles are functioning better. Um, but they're still really great exercises to do on your own. So these three exercises are based on the McGill method for back pain. So one exercise will work on the front core, the other exercise the side core, and the last exercise will work on the back core. First up we have the curl up. So you bring your hands underneath your lower back, you lift your elbows, you engage your abs, and then you lift your head one inch up off the floor. So the trick here is you want to engage your abdominals without flattening your lower back, which is why you brought your hands underneath your lower back. So the lower back should naturally have some curve. When you engage your abdominals, do it in such a way that it doesn't flatten the lower back. When you bring your head up, only bring it one inch up and it just hovers right above the ground. Many people, when they start the curl up, their necks start to hurt. If that happens to you, bring your fists underneath your chin, bring the tongue to the roof of your mouth, and press down with your chin while you push up with your fists equally, holding your neck statically for five to 10 seconds. Next up, we have the side plank. So you make sure your elbow is underneath your shoulder. You push down and you lift your hips up. Oftentimes people try to flex with their hips. Dr. McGill says that either flexed or extended hips are okay. I like to extend them. Make sure your neck stays on top of your body. Make sure that your body stays in perfect alignment. You don't want to push your hips up or let your hips sag down. Really imagine a straight line. Now if your shoulder is bothering you, you can grab the shoulder with the opposite hand, pull down on the deltoid, and that can add some extra shoulder stability for this exercise. If your shoulder is still bothering you and you just can't do side blanks because your shoulder hurts, you can bring your hand like so and you can lift your leg straight up. Last up we have the bird dog. Bring your knees underneath your hips and your wrists underneath your shoulders. First, practice just reaching that heel back, extending with the hip, keeping the pelvis completely level. Once you're proficient at this, you can practice raising the opposite arm and leg. Again, making sure that the pelvis doesn't tip either way. A lot of people, they worry about how high they get the leg too much. Don't worry about that. Just focus on keeping the pelvis level. These are some examples of cheats. People rolling the pelvis up or down or side to side. Don't let those happen. Hold the spine stable. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you struggle with lower back pain, the recommendations are to do sets of six, four, and two, or five, three, and one, with optimal holds being only eight to 10 seconds each rep. In addition, the research also shows that doing these exercises every single day results in the best possible outcome. All right, that's it folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching all the way through and I look forward to seeing you guys when we return.